the race to leadership on various platforms across the country has seen more aspirants being cleared by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, over the last couple of days. Kanu party leader Gideon Moy submitted his nomination papers to IEBC in Cabernet Town and has been cleared to vie for Baringo senatorial seats. He has vowed to support the ODM leader Raila Odinga as he opts to defend his Baringo senatorial seat. In his speech after clearance, he said Azimio is the way to go and the people of Baringo cannot afford to be locked out of government, adding that they are ready to fight tooth and nail to form the next government. <laughs> Petition. <laughs> 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 Kirinyaga UDA senatorial candidate Kamau Murango, who was accused of fraud, has been cleared to contest for the seat by IEBC. The Kirinyaga County Elections Manager Jane Gitonga handed over the clearance certificate to Mr. Murango after he presented his nomination papers in Kirugoya town. Speaking after being cleared, Mr. Murango called for peaceful campaigns in the region, requesting all candidates not to use insightful language. Masaya saa hine mpaka saa sita, ilikuwa katu wangu wakuja hapa, ilikuwa kilisha stakambadi zangu, stakambadi zangu wa IBC, waziangalie, waone kama zinatosha, halafu ndo waweze kutadimini kama nitakuwa katika mbaro te uchaguzi wa mwaka huu, 39, 2022. Ningetaka kusema na kwamba niko na flaha kwa sababu vile zile stakamba zote ambazo zilikuwa zinatakikana nimewasilisha na ningesema kwamba IBC Kirinyaga wapo na mpangilio sambamba hakuna siasa hapa ni uleta chenye unaleta kama iko sawa unamaliziwa ya be patient kila kitu nimefanywa eh, nimeleta tumekuwa na nimefuruliza vizuri kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Kwa hivyo ningetaka kushukuru IBC kwa kazi ambayo wanafanya hapa Kirinyaga. Ya pili, hapa niko na certificate ama takambali ya kuonyesha kwamba mimi sasa kikamilifu nitakuwa katika kinyanganyiro ama ballot ya seneta wa Kirinyaga mwaka huu tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane. ambaye alikuwa anafikiria sitakuweko na wenye wanaenda kuongea sana na kusema sita kuweko naambia wanachemsha kuni wakichemsha mawe haya hivi hapo tushapita kila kitu tumeleta ni kuomba tu tufanye uchaguzi wa amani tufanye siasa za amani ili tuachie wanjiko nafasi ya kuchagua mtu ambaye anataka kuchagua TSP party leader Mwangi Kyunjuri and his main rival Laikipia East MP Amin Dedi Mohamed vying under UDA have also been given a clean bill of health by IEBC to contest for the Laikipia East parliamentary seat. They presented their nomination papers before Laikipia East constituency returning officer Tabitha Diangoi. They presented their nomination papers before Laikipia East constituency returning officer Tabitha Diangoi a day after the official campaign period kicked off. Speaking to the media after clearance, Kenjuri exuded confidence that he will clinch the seat, citing his development record when he served as the area legislature for three terms. I today have presented uh, my papers, and that means that uh, it is now confirmed that I will be a candidate uh, on 9th of August this year, learning for the Kipia East constituency. There is no doubt whatsoever that uh, I will be running on a TSP a party where I am the party leader and I want once again to confirm that TSP is firmly in Kenya Kwanza and that uh, the remaining days we shall put our best foot forward to ensure that we uh, do not only win uh, enough seats as a party 
but also to ensure that we campaign hard to uh, allow our presidential candidate to be able to have a comfortable read come 9th of August this year. We shall be able to embark now uh, on a campaign trail whereby we are planned, as I said the other day, we shall be campaigning in 17 counties across the country. And our main agenda is number one, to ensure that we mobilize as many voters as possible to ensure that our presidential candidate wins this election and at the same time to ensure the best candidates within the Kenya Kwanza Alliance, uh, Alliance within Kenya, Kenya Kwanza Alliance will win uh, the elections. However, we are also aware that we need to work very hard as TSP so that uh, when it comes to organizing uh, government next uh, uh, after this, these elections that we shall have our space in uh, the coming government. That's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other aspirants and the supporters during this, as we go to the official campaign time, mm -hmm. the call for peace. Now, uh, it is important uh, to note that it's not how big mouthed you are, not how how much you can abuse each other, but it's about issues. And this election it will be about issues. It is issue based because Kenyans are now able to differentiate between parties and leaders that are they are able to choose among the many parties that will be there, those people that they think will be able to understand their issues. It is about who can bring development, who can uh, be able to move the constituency from one level to another. And that is why it will be important this time around to ensure that you have an agenda that you can sell to your people. For us, we don't believe in politics of a, of a, a hurling insult to each other. We don't uh, believe in uh, drama uh, when you are doing your politics. It's not about comedy, because most of us, we are seeing these days that uh, people believe that uh, drama and comedy can earn you vote. It is not about drama, it is about issues that you table on the, uh, on the table. It's about the agenda that you are articulating to your people. Dr. Oburu Oginga, Samuel Atandi, and Opio Wandanyi were also given a clean bill of health by IEBC. East African Legislative Assembly IALA member Dr. Oburu has been cleared to run for CIA senatorial seat on an ODM party ticket on the 9th of August 2022. Dr. Oburu was cleared after submitting his ODM nomination papers at the IEBC CIA county offices in CIA town. I want to take this opportunity also to uh, thank my party for having had confidence in me and nominated me to be the candidate in Siaya for the senatorial seat. And uh, I also want to thank the IBC office here for a very, very efficient service they have provided in processing this document. And uh, I have uh, confidence that with this certificate, now the sky is the limit. We are going to ensure that uh, ODM remains uh, the party of choice for the Sierra people and we are going to campaign for all our candidates to make sure that we win and uh, we are pleading with our people to keep heart and keep supporting ODM and they should not be confused by people who are saying that we should uh, just support Raila up there and then down here we can mix. I'm telling our people that if you do that, you are going to give Rail a very, very hard time when he becomes the president of Kenya, because he will, this is his base, and if he needs support uh, to put on the table in this big house called Azimio, he must get it from here. This is his base, and we have no apologies for saying this, we have no apologies for uh, of course, uh, uh, to our friends who are also in Azimio and they want to support Raila for up there, if they want to say two peace them, themselves uh, uh, and Raila, two peace, let them say so. But for us, we say six peace. That is because that is the only way we can sustain uh, 
uh, the presidency if Raila and when if and when Raila becomes the president of Kenya. Alego MP Samuel Atandi and his Ugunja counterpart James Opio Wandai have been cleared to defend their seat on the ODM party ticket. Speaking after being cleared, the leaders one by one drummed up support for ODM, noting that they are going to ensure that it remains the party of choice in the region. Daragua constituency MP Jeremiah Kioni has been cleared to defend his seat under Jubilee Umbrella after presenting his documents to IEBC in Nyandarua County. IEBC has also cleared Kenya Kwanza Principal Moses Wetangula to defend his senatorial seat in the August elections. Speaking after he was cleared, the senator said that he was optimistic of winning the seat with a landslide victory and continue with the good work he has been doing as Bungoma senator, adding that he will now focus on the national campaigns for Kenya Kwanza presidential candidate Dr. William Ruto as the campaigns in Bungoma will be led by Speaker Ken Lusaka and the Ford Kenya Party County officials. Homa Basin Senator Moses Kajuang was also cleared to defend his seat. Frederick Ogopa, the returning officer in Homa Bay, requested all politicians to campaign peacefully during this electioneering period.